Hi, for this recording, we are look at 2009 semester 2 MST question 1b. If u is i plus j and v is 2i minus 7j, first we will find u and v, u dot v the angle between u and v, and second time we're going to find the orthogonal projection of u on v. So we answer the part b now, the orthogonal projection of u on v. Before we do this, you must understand what is orthogonal projection of u and v. Now this is in Anton chapter 12, section 3. It says that the orthogonal projection of u and v is V, uh, v on E1 or E2, right? It's given by something like this. Orthogonal projection of V on E, where E is a unit vector, then we denote by this. Projection of V on E, which is mean the orthogonal projection of V on E, is V dot E multiplied by E. So what does it mean geometrically? It means that in terms of picture, let me explain it here. Say, suppose this is a vector E, and E is a unit vector. Now, the orthogonal projection of V on E, say this is my vector V here, then the orthogonal projection of U and V is the vector component like this. This is a vector. The pump, this vector, the highlighted part, is called the projection of V on E. Now, how do I find this? In this case, according to the book, this is says that this is equal to the dot product between V and E. Multiply by the vector E, where E is a unit vector. Now, why is this so? First of all, we must understand here that E is a unit vector. Understand that in this case, E is a unit vector. So, all we need now is the length of the projection of V on E. Now notice that the length of the projection, in this case, this length, right? The length of the projection, you can write in this way, the length of the projection of V on E is actually the length of V cosine theta the theta is angle between V and E, which you can simplify as length of V, length of E, cosine theta, divided by the length of E. This is a common trick here, but the top is actually V dot E, top product of V and E, and the length of E is 1, basically, because E is a unit vector, which is V dot E, right, as E is a unit vector. And this is why, if you know the length of V dot E is V and dot, projection of V on E is V dot E, then, so, projection of E on V, V on E is V dot E times E, as E is a unit vector. Understanding this, then we can go ahead to find what is the projection of U, orthogonal projection of U on V. That is, find orthogonal projection of 
u on v. So all we need now is u dot unit vector v times unit vector v. Right, based on our understanding from the book. And what is the unit vector of V? Here, unit vector of V is 2i minus 7j over the length of 2i minus 7j, which is 2i minus 7j over square root of 53 we have calculated earlier. So let's do the calculation now. So projection of u on v, right? So projection of u on v will be equal to u dot unit vector of v times unit vector of v as we need a unit vector here. So u is i plus j v is 2i minus 7j over square root of 53 and the unit vector of v is 2i minus 7j over square root of 53 now when we do the dot product uh, this is the dot product between two vectors. And then multiply this number by the vector 2i minus 7j times square root 53. Now you do the dot product. Remember how we do the dot product in part A. This is equal to i, I times 2i equals 2. 2 over square root 53. 1 times minus 2 equals minus 7. Over square root 53. Times... 2i minus 7j over square root of 53, which will give you minus 5 over square root of 53 times 2i minus 7j over square root of 53. When you multiply them out, you get minus 10 over 53i plus minus 5 times minus 7 is 35 over square 53 times square 53 is 53 j all right so this will conclude the 1b now what is the key takeaway now key takeaway is understanding the definition what does it mean by Projection of u on v. Projection of u on v is orthogonal projection of u on v means this, this is u, this is v. Then the orthogonal projection is make a 90 degree projection here, orthogonal projection. The this vector here, right? The vector highlighted. Uh, the vector highlighted. This is the vector we're looking at is the orthogonal projection of u on v. And how to calculate this thing? This is actually u dot product of unit vector of v times unit vector of v. Now occasionally we can change unit vector of v by u dot v over the length of v unit vector of v is v over the length of v and you can simplify it to u dot v over the length of v square times v in the case where v is not a unit vector that will end the recording for Question 1B.